Good afternoon. Welcome, if you're just joining us, to Bendigo Stadium. Nathan Strempel is mine, and I'm joined by lead writer for NBL.com.au, former NBL player Liam Santa Maria. Well, Ty Wesley, mm -hmm. back to New Zealand. I hear that United would have loved to keep him, mm -hmm. but they no Abercrombie. I expected that to be Armani Moore that reflects, and we know Tom Jervis stepping in to replace Angus Brandt in this starting lineup. What a key signing Tom Jervis has been during the off-season. There's the bench crew for the Wildcats. The veterans in Greg Hyatt, Jesse Wagstaff. And uh, at perimeter shooting there from Reese Fagan, and Clint Steindl and Sunday Deck. Um, who, from all accounts out west, has been really impressive. Teams finding their identity. A little surprise maybe seeing Weeksy with the start there ahead of Illy. We'll see how that one plays out. But we are underway with the action here. Our first look at both of these sides and this new influx of young Australian talent for the Wildcats, Norton, K, Jervis back in the team for the Wildcats with Brent out, him getting the start. And the MVP of the league there, Bryce Cotton, wasted bound. Well, that's where the breakers have that secret weapon as White fouls Richard on the perimeter. In their international scout, Jonathan Gavoni, I tried to shine the light on him a little bit over at Summer League, but he, there is nobody more tapped in. You know, the championship caliber imports that they've had along the road, he has had a heavy involvement in that as Cotton oh, slices his way to the cup for the end one finish. And here, Armani Moore, Patrick Richard, and we've seen already Sean Long doing great work. Um, just having a massive impact in the NBL behind the scenes. ESPN's premier draft expert. A very, very handy piece of the breakers action. You talk about secret weapons though. Mm. What slides under the radar a little, the Wildcats here, bringing in such good Australian talent this season, allows them to start the season with only two imports. So they still have a piece that they can add at any time. They sure do. Which puts them in a very nice position. You're seeing Angus Brandt go down with injury. Looking like time with him in Utah, I was like, watch out for this guy. He's going to catch some guys. He's an athlete, a great shooter. So fast, he can get on the rim. Wildcats points, 12 points on five of seven from the field. Knocked one in from long range. Mitch Norton with the three dimes and also Jesse Wagstaff coming in off the pine and knocking down a couple of triples. He has eight points. No, good contributions. But between them, Cotton and Wagstaff have 20 of the Wildcats' 22 points. I imagine that would be something worth noting in that New Zealand Breakers huddle. And, and Cotton, especially, you see it there on the screen. Mm. Bryce Cotton, 12 points, 5 or 7 shooting. That has to be a conversation how they stay in front of him and lock him up. And a different look, Perth Wildcats with no Damian Martin to go out there. Oh, so my apologies, David Martin. On three of seven from the field. They need to get Corey Webster going. He's got a goose egg in the points column right now. O of three from the field with a couple of turnovers.